Most people in life are familiar with the concept of timing out. In our career tracks, we often time out of positions. In other words, we go as far as we can go in that position, and then we start looking for another position. It's always smart to have a job and keep a job up until we get another job and get invited to that new job. Usually, in America, the professional standard is to give a two-week notice. And that is typical because it takes sometimes two weeks for employees to process our, well, benefits. And those benefits can often be transferred to the new job. Most people who are working at a salary job know this. If you're working on an hourly job, you might be able to get away with one week notice. But it's never really wise to just quit and walk off a job. Unless, of course, you feel a physical danger to your life, or you can feel that hanging out another two weeks would just deplete your energies. And then it's okay to quit. It's always easy to resell yourself is truthful. But oftentimes we need someone who really knows us, cares for us, loves us, to help us to remarket ourselves into a different work. A lot of people make a total change of life in their 50s. It's not always called a midlife crisis. It's just called a change of heart. A change of heart is when someone says, you know, I made a mistake on this and I've had a change of heart. I've made a mistake and I've harmed someone and I've had a change of heart. But a change of mind is usually what happens on the job. That you can be told by a company, and it's happened to me, that they have all this desire to do something. And then they end up having a change of mind because you're not producing as quickly as they like. But here's the deal. Different cultures, different races have different ways of building relationships. And when it comes to the Japanese, it takes a long time to build a real relationship, especially in the business community where they've had long-term old boys networks. And it is true, many of the women who are translators are here at the, uh, what should we say, assistance of their husbands or their women who married American men. And they have to keep working. And they decide to use their Japanese to be translators. But it doesn't mean that they care about the translation that they're doing. In life, we have moments in time to speak the truth. Someone who's an interpreter can translate, but it's also true that we can time out of the language we used to use. It's doubtful that I remember too much of my Japanese manufacturing language, but it's one of the reasons that my late spouse and one of our friends, dear friends, were working on an interpretation and an interpreter's dictionary for the manufacturing environment. I earned those pages, and we worked our ass off to translate them, but when I lived in an impoverished community that was kind of a unique place as I was transitioning and my father was dying and my mom was helping me pay the bills because I had sort of lost life after losing my wife and my spouse and my son, that openly someone kept going into my property and taking my pages and shredding them. And that's a little boy's, a maintenance man's game. I never gave anyone the right to get in my boxes. I never gave them any right to get in my plastic things. I started buying plastic boxes from different companies so that I could sort myself and have my business things available to me. Even the history of my resumes were available to me. But someone who might have stolen things during an sh alleged sheriff sale might have decided to shred all that shit. And openly, they didn't have the right to do it at all. I never got notified of what was going on with my storage unit, and I never got the right to say where I wanted to place things. But if my property is now gone, how did that person make that up to me? You see, changes are what we go through. Maturing processes are, are what we are expected to do in God's house, and keeping someone in jail because of our stupid play is ridiculous today. Because when that person leaves, they're going to be so fucking raging at you that they will pursue you until you're dead. It's true. But when you take a group of people and you give them illegal information, meaning that information is private, that information is medical, that information is financial, that information is their bank accounts, that information is their social security card, that information is their business tax ID number, and someone decides to close it who's not me and not you who owns it, we're in trouble. Because that person has committed identity theft and fraud. 